Hey, race fans, this is Chet Christner with your Comp Cam's top five moments on flow racing from this past week. Brody Rowe coming on strong up on the cushion. Trouble over in turn number two. Hard, wicked flip for Austin Liggett. Our number five happens during the Dave Helm Classic at Colorado Speedway, where Austin Liggett is trying to tiptoe into the top five, and a touch of the tire sends Liggett on a tumultuous tumble that was felt by his ancestors. How's it? Meanwhile, Hanford, California's DJ Neto would dominate the Kings of Thunder 410 sprint car feature. They're in the beams. Oh, Hall's going to give it a go. He takes out the 330-foot code, and John Hall. Everybody hang tight there. Watt Motorsports Park and the PDRA East Coast Nationals give us our number four, while pro nitrous driver John Hall finds himself pulling hard to starboard. As he tries to yard it back into his lane, the back end steps out, and at that point, he receives a colossal atomic wedgie from the universe that sends him over the wall and into a violent roll through the grass. Fortunately, John was okay. His underwear, probably not so much. Here at the Port Royal Speedway, and the green flag is out. The Danny Dietrich double is our number three as Double D went 14th to fourth during feature event action at Port Royal Speedway. And then the crew quickly loaded and headed down the highway with Danny at the helm of the hauler still wearing his driving suit. They arrived just in the nick of time at Lincoln Speedway to unload, pull a NASCAR style pit stop to change the setup and then tag on to the back of the heat. Dietrich would again make a 10 position charge from 21st to 11th in the feature event. And we'll just call it the Double D double. <laughs> double D double. Fabulous Lincoln Speedway continues our countdown at number two as Aaron Bollinger leads from the start with Tim Schaefer in pursuit and Chase Deeds closing in on the two. On lap 22, Bollinger stumbles on a cushion just as Chase Deeds just friggin' sends it. Which went about as well as you can imagine. Forget about the curveball, Ricky. Give him the heater. Schaefer would inherit the lead and become the first repeat winner of the season, grabbing the points lead in the process. Bezrol committing to the top spot, to the top line here rather. Ryan Tim, CB Industries. Oh, big slide job attempt by Timez, and Tim's comes out on his side. And our number one happens at the T-Town Midget Showdown at Port City Raceway where Thomas Mesrol is getting it wound up on the top rope and boom goes the dynamite. Timez blows Tim's off his feet into the turn three fence and says this about it. That's midget racing, you know? I mean, I've been doing this a long time and you just kind of like throw sliders. Slide or die, everybody. Slide or die. Meanwhile, 16th starting Buddy Kofoid would go on to win the 50 lapper. On Sunday, we repeat the feat, another battle for third, although this time it's Kevin Thomas Jr. stubbing his toe on the cushion just as Dason personally commits to the slider down low. That little hitch in the giddy up is all it takes for both cars to arrive on time at the scene of the crime, with Pursley perching precariously on his posterior. Tanner Thorson would go on to hold off Justin Grant to close out the weekend at Port City.